crew welcome back to another video as you guys can see i'm back in my vic tried a little different video before this one an airsoft video did a little review on my gun and stuff like that because as you guys know i play airsoft and stuff like that so if you guys haven't checked it out definitely go check it out i know a lot of you guys subscribe to my channel for my crown vic and that is not going anywhere do not worry about that but I am going to be bringing a little bit of airsoft and stuff like that into my video. I actually uh, bought some new Greenlight Hot Pursuit Series collectibles. Um, I actually picked up a couple of them, customized them and stuff like that. Came out really, really cool. That was actually supposed to be this video. As you guys can see, I got a package in. My package came in way sooner than I expected. It came in in a day. It was supposed to come in by like March 2nd. So I was like, all right, I'll do a green light video and then I'll do this video. But we're doing it now because it came in and I'm so excited. I've been waiting so long to finish um, my antenna setup and this is finally going to complete it. I also have some... Uh, little things I have to do my antenna set up as well. Some of the parts are a little rusty. I need to swap them out because I have other ones. Um, and I might be switching out my, and I might be switching out one of my antennas in the back for a more low profile one, but we'll see. Uh, so let's open this sucker up and see what it's all about. What do you think right now down below in the comments this is? What kind of antenna do you guys think this is? Just by the shape of the box. Let me know down below in the comments and see if you're right. So two hours later. Doing this with one hand. I hope I don't cut myself. Whoops, I just cut my steering wheel. <laughs> Alright, here we go. And I think this is brand new as well, so... Here we go. Da -da 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 -da. Woo! Still don't know what it is, because it's wrapped again. <laughs> so here it is. Whoops. Here it is. A lot of you guys are probably like... Okay, it's a black thing. Yes, this is what we call a cylinder puck antenna. But as you guys can see, it's completely hollow inside. There's no wiring, anything like that. As you guys know, all my antennas are just for show. I have them to plug up holes. They just look so much better. The person I buy this from on eBay, uh, he or she, I'm not sure, sells a bunch of these, a bunch of antennas. Um, if you guys need mounts, uh, she sells mounts. Uh, this one actually came with the antenna, um, the mounting hardware. And also a rubber grommet to put underneath so no water or anything gets in there. So really, really cool. Picked it up for $23, uh, but I got rush shipping. So that's probably why I came in in a day. In a day. It was like an extra $4 or something. So I was like, whatever, I want it. So really, really cool. Full metal, awesome. So we're going to go stick this on in the middle uh, where my four low jack antennas are. We're going to go stick that in there. And uh, finally, my antenna setup will now officially be 100% complete after having my car for one year. Took a while, but I'm finally able to get it done. Um, so yeah, let's go throw it on. All right, so as you guys can see, we got my four low jack antennas and right in the middle is where this puck is gonna go. That's usually the setup that uh, police departments have, like the low jack setup. That's usually what it'll look like right now. Obviously these aren't official, you know, legit low jack antennas, but I mean, they look the part and it's good enough for me. So we're gonna take this final, GoPro is picking it up because I don't have a screen to see, but I'm going to take this final ugly cap off. Take it off nice and slowly. Damn. Melted into my car. <laughs> take it off that one was kind of a pain but um we're gonna go ahead now and put this in mm, this does not look like it fits this hole looks a little bit smaller as well yeah this hole is definitely a little smaller not sure why a little worried that this wasn't going to fit because when I was taking this out it was really really hard to take out and all these other four came out super super easy even the ones on my trunk came out easy this one took a long time a lot of pushing squeezing cutting with the knife so I was like this hole's got to be smaller so I had to use my trick of putting hot glue in the piece up here and then I had to get uh, my knife and I just kind of hit it and tapped it in little by little by little so now I'm gonna hold this piece make sure it doesn't fall in Grab our gold piece here. Alright, need 
get some pliers, kind of tighten it around, self tighten it as much as I can. Now I'm gonna go get the tool, do the rest. So here it is, officially tightened it as much as I possibly could. It's really in there, that's not gonna go anywhere. No water's gonna get in there. That's in there tight. Oh yeah, that's in there good, and it looks awesome. You guys look at the trunk and tether setup now. Wow, that looks good. It finally looks complete. So this is what I was talking about before, as you guys can see these parts right here. It's already rusting. <laughs> this is just a little metal piece that goes um, over it to kind of protect it. That one's really bad. So I got new pieces for that. So we're gonna take these antennas off and we're gonna swap them. I was also thinking about taking this big antenna off and kind of getting a smaller one like this for over here and kind of just holding that one for now. I also might take this puck off since we have one on there, but let me know what you guys think so far. So I'm gonna go get these pieces right now and uh, swap them out. I think I also have some silver pieces but it might look a little weird. It might not go with it because obviously all my antennas are black and then this over here is also rusting. And up here as well, kind of rusting. So I might have to swap out and get different antennas all together, which they're not that expensive. They're only $8 at AutoZone. So, but damn, does that look good. So I know I said I was going to give these away when we hit 10,000, but as you guys see, these are completely rusted. I thought I had these parts when I bought these antennas, but I, apparently I lost them, or I misplaced them, I don't remember where I put them. So the part is in here, and even though I don't use these, I mean, it's kind of a waste to open it just for that, that's why I wanted to give these away. I have this one as well, I'm not gonna open up this one. This is the long one, but it's in silver, but it's just silver and it's got a silver, um, it's got the silver uh, top to it, and the nut and bolt is silver, but, Still the same antenna I have. I'll probably give this one away. I just hope you guys can understand. Um, you know, I, I need the part. I want to, you know, I don't want my car to have this ugly, rusted, you know, part on it. It looks weird, so. Um, but nevertheless, don't worry. I don't want you guys to think, oh, wow, he's opening. What a jerk. No, I'll still do the giveaway. And if you guys even want these, I mean, these are generic anyway. These are just like a thick antenna. Super generic. But I'll still do the 10,000 um subscriber giveaway antenna giveaway i'll probably give away three of them buy two more they're only eight bucks a piece um so we'll see where it goes from there but i needed to use these for the parts so all right so now we're going to swap these these out really simple just unscrew as you can see all that <sighs> rust is just falling off look at that and like i said again i originally got these antennas just because they were auto zone super easy to find super cheap holy crap look at that crap <laughs> disgusting these are not like crown vic spec police spec at all these like i said again just generic from auto zone so they don't actually fit the mount they don't actually fit the hole like i said again i had to drill these bigger that's why i don't recommend these anymore I eventually will end up getting the legit ones that do belong here. Alright guys, so I finally did it. These are a pain in the ass. Um, just because they're so hard to adjust. I sat here for like 20 minutes trying to align it up with the American flag on nice and straight. Because these are actually antennas for um, the side of your car. You know the ones that go over here on the side of your car usually it's on the passenger side that's usually what these are for but like i said again the reason why i got these was because they were already at autozone i didn't have to wait to ship and at the time i didn't know that you know there was mounted there was you know the mounts and then you have to get the actual antenna so i thought this was the ones that they originally used but yeah it's really a pain it took me a while but it does look a lot better than that i'm scared about taking this one off and adjusting this one um but I will eventually get mounts for these in the antennas. The only reason why I'm holding off on that is because the actual antennas themselves that go to the official mounts are very expensive. Um, so, I mean, the mounts are $8. That's $16 right there. And then I think the antenna is anywhere from $20 to $30 each. So I would need two of them. Um, but yeah, that's why I have those on there. But they are super annoying and super pain in the ass. So, finally straightened that one. It looks straight to me. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think of the whole official setup as it is now. I think it looks pretty cool. But um, yeah, I'm going to take this one off, finish that, and then uh, we'll see the finished product. 
I think I'm going to actually order the mounts themselves tonight because after doing this, it was a pain. And I noticed, you know, the seal tight um, grip that I thought it was. I mean, it's got a good rubber coating over here, but there's a little hole over here that uh, water gets in. So I'm afraid it's rusting out, you know, the hole that I got there with my original antennas were when my car was in service. So I think I'm going to order the official mounts tonight. See how much the antennas are. Like I said again, that's the only reason why I'm holding off on the antennas, just because they're very expensive. I mean, that little one right there was uh, like 28 bucks. Well, I got rush shipping, but it was technically $23, just for that little one. So you can imagine a big one, but I'm gonna see how much they are and stuff like that. But for right now, this is what my official antenna setup looks like. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments if you guys like it or no. I know some people don't, you know, like me putting antennas on my car and stuff, but I mean, they're plugging up the holes. There it is. And if you guys ever want antennas and stuff like that, a lot of you guys always ask me, where do you get these? Where do you get these? Where do you get these? These were sent in by somebody, my four on my roof. If you guys want the mounting hardware, for the official ones, go to eBay. They have my eBay. Please don't ask me. It's not that, you know, I'm not going to tell you or anything, but I mean, so many people ask me and I say all the time in videos, eBay, eBay, eBay is the best place to find these. Um, I bought this one on eBay. I bought the mounts on eBay. Um, like I said, again, someone sent me these in and these right here, I got AutoZone, but those will be replaced very, very soon. Um, hopefully before the summertime, I'll get the official ones. So that's gonna do it for this video. Just wanted to show you guys my new antenna. Um, officially, finally all done. Like I said again, these will eventually, I will have the, uh, you know, the real official mounts that are supposed to go here in the antennas. But for right now, this is what I got. So let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like my antenna setup or no? Um, as far as adding more antennas and stuff like that, that's, that's all I'm adding. I have no more holes to plug up. The whole reason why I put antennas in the first place was because I had these obnoxious holes uh, with freaking just ugly caps on them. So I don't have any more holes, so I might swap out antennas. Like I said, again, these might be different style antennas or the ones on my roof. But as of right now, I'm really happy the way it came out. I'm happy the way it looks. So let me know what you guys think. I'm going to end the video off here. I think it's my grandfather. He's cutting the grass. So uh, I'm going to finish off in here so it's a little bit more quiet. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed a little short video. I like to do little updates like this and post it to YouTube because I know not everybody follows me over on Instagram and it is kind of a major thing to my car. I completed my antenna setup. I'm really happy, feel really good. Um, I think the next step is going to be the mirror beams. Uh, the reason why I haven't put the mirror beams is yet is because I want to activate it so it's a turn signal. So I want the mirror beams to be looked there. Yeah, it's going to look like a strobe light, but I want it to so when I activate my um, turn signal, it's going to flash and I want it also to act as a kind of like a high beam. I live in very heavy wooded area, so a lot of deer and stuff like that on the road. Um, and that's pretty much it. It's hopefully someone I know in the Crown Vic community that lives close by that can maybe do that for me. That'd be awesome. Like I said, again, I want it to activate as my turn signal and act like an extra high beam. That's it. I don't want no strobe effect and nothing. Just that. I would be happy with that and my car would be like A-OK. -okay for a while until I find something else to add. I was also thinking about some more stuff for the push bar, but I'm gonna shut up now. I've been ranting on for like five minutes now. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, have a couple videos lined up. So the next video is gonna be a green light unboxing Hot Pursuit series. I got three CHP, uh, not Crown Vix, Dodge Chargers. I customized a couple of them. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what those look like on unboxing video. Saturday, I'm going airsofting, so I'm gonna have an airsoft or an actual battle when we go and play with everybody else uh, inside the arena. So that'll be that. It won't be a review or anything. And then Sunday, we're having a car meet. So you guys will see that as well. So a couple of videos lined up. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed again for the hundredth time. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Remember again, 10,000 subscribers, I'll be doing the antenna giveaway. Maybe something a little bit else, that puck giveaway. But we'll see. 10,000 subscribers is still a little far off. But, but on that note, I'm going to end the video off here. I will see all of you guys in the next one.